Sergeant Arms, bring the group to attention. Hello and welcome. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to attend and acknowledge the importance of our local flag raising and kick off to the 2024 Poppy campaign. I'd also like to acknowledge that we're meeting on Robinson Huron Treaty Territory and in particular the bands of Batchewana and Garden River, as well as the Métis Nation. Thank you for your stewardship. Every year, millions of Canadians wear our poppy as a symbol of remembrance. In Canada, and in particular, the Royal Canadian Legion, we view the poppy as sacred. It remain, reminds us of the service and sacrifice of our service members dating back to World War I, originally used as a means of addressing the significant loss to families due to death and injuries caused by war. Some of the original poppies were created by and for injured service members. Today, the Royal Canadian Legion distributes millions of poppies each year. The goal remains the same, to honor the service and sacrifice of our members from World War I to present, to raise funds to support our brave soldiers and their families, to educate the youth in our communities of the cost of peace and the importance of the service members in the pursuit of peace. To support our community resources in the areas of health care, emergency services, and social services. I would now ask my comrades that were named to assist me and pin poppies on our guest to start this campaign. I would like to uh, now invite uh, Lisa, representing uh, Mr. Uh, Terry Sheen, our MP, uh, to say a few words. Thank you so much for having me. It's a great honour of mine and Terry wishes he was here. He had a commitment with the House of Commons. Um, but I'm just so honoured and thank you and uh, wishing you all a successful and wonderful Poppy campaign. Uh, Poppy sacred and so is our democracy and thank you for all the sacrifice. Thank you. I would ask our MPP, Mr. Ross Romano, to say a few words. Thank you, Pierre. Um, and uh, I agree with Pierre. This has uh, been, uh, I think, six years for me and this is by far the biggest showing I've ever seen at one of our uh, poppy raising, uh, poppy flag uh, uh, raising ceremonies. So it's a privilege to see you all here. I'm uh, really excited to see all the youth, the cadets that are here today. Uh, this is an extremely important uh, moment for us all. This is an extremely symbolic moment for us uh, as, uh, as a community, for us as a nation, uh, when we uh, honor and remember all those uh, who sacrificed their lives uh, so that we could all be here and enjoy the freedoms we have today. And it's uh, something that is so important for us to never forget. 
uh, what those sacrifices were and how that ultimate sacrifice paved the way for us to enjoy what we have. Uh, so I think it's uh, something very critical that we always support the, the, uh, the, the, Poppy, uh, the Poppy fundraising campaign. It uh, supports so much in our community, it supports youth programs, education, as that Pierre has already indicated, and something that uh, we should always do everything we can to support um, our, our legion, to support our veterans, and to support uh, all of those uh, who, who, who stand at arms on, on behalf of our country to protect us and who do so much in our community to support us in, in, in every day. Uh, and so I, I really want to say a very special thank you to everybody who puts on uh, this event, for all of those of you who are out there selling poppies and going out and doing everything you can to raise those funds for all of your fellow uh, veterans community members here in Sault Ste. Marie and across uh, the board. Uh, I thank you a great deal for everything you do for our community and uh, really appreciate uh, your continued uh, your continued and steadfast effort in this regard. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure to introduce uh, the Mayor of Sault Ste. Marie, Mr. Uh, Matthew Shoemaker. Thanks everyone. Thanks for having me. I, I, I'd like to echo uh, much of what Ross said which is that uh, Royal Canadian Legion Branch 25 in our community and the branches all across the country are tasked with uh, uh, rolling out the poppy campaign every year. And they are made up largely uh, the, the Legion branches of veterans. And so after having served our countries for all the time you have served, we're then asked, you're then asked to continue to serve our communities in many cases by uh, um, seeing the successful unfolding of, the, of this campaign and then ensuring that the funds that are raised in the Poppy campaign are used for the benefit of community members and so we thank you for your ongoing service uh, through the Poppy campaign and, uh, and uh, of course the service that you have given to the country over your years of service. So uh, buy a Poppy and, and buy multiple if they keep falling off. Don't, uh, don't worry about them falling off, buy more. Uh, because it, it is all for a great cause and it all goes and uh, helps our community members who need it most. Thank you. Lieutenant Colonel Nadon, would you like to say a few words? He's the CEO of the 49th Field Regiment, a uh, huge supporter of the Legion. Uh, thank you, Pierre. Um, it's always a great honor when uh, Remembrance Week comes around. I can remember my earliest days as a young kid following uh, veterans from Branch 25 and uh, actually getting to meet some World, one, World War I vets back in those days. And it, it always left a, a great impression uh, on me. And now as a veteran, it, it has even a more deeper meaning uh, for Remembrance Day. It's great to see the cadets here and have the youth uh, supporting the Poppy campaign and Remembrance Day, as well as a couple of my own soldiers. Thank you very much uh, for what you do at Branch 25 and supporting veterans. It's uh, well received. We know you're there. You're kind of like our backstop um, for when guys get out of the service. Uh, thank you for everything you do. Thank you for the Poppy campaign and the funds that you raise on our behalf. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Would either one of you, uh, would you like to say anything? Colonel Healy, the honorary Colonel of 49th Field Regiment. Thank you very much for including us in your service today. Just, you know, as a vet, I say to myself after 32 years, as a country, we ask one day of all citizens to recognize veterans, November the 11th. I don't know that that's too much to ask of our citizens, but I see the numbers dwindling as the years go by. I'd also ask that every time you pass this cenotaph, you make an eyes right and pay your respect. Every time I see a flag, I pay my respect for the years of service and for all of those that I know personally that have given of their time, their effort, and in some cases, their life. So we're in a period of remembrance. A particular note is November the 11th, the one day we ask all citizens to remember. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I also want to give a shout out to the soldiers here today. Uh, one of the things that uh, the Legion is not always good at is reminding serving members
that the Legion is here for you as well. You don't have to be a veteran to access services. And on that note, many reservists in particular get out thinking that they are not veterans, but in fact you are. So if you have a need, you know somebody that is in need, please remember the Royal Canadian Legion and our service branch. They are here to help serving and veterans. Thank you very much. I want to remind you that uh, there is a poppy, uh, crochet poppy project unveiling at the Sault Ste. Marie Museum following this uh, service. Uh, the vast majority of the people here will be heading there for that unveiling. Over the past uh, several months, a number of people in the community have crocheted these poppies. They've been attached by, the, a large portion of them were attached by the three cadet corps and then other uh, volunteers. And that is gonna be unveiled uh, immediately following this, this service. Thank you once again all for taking the time. Sergeant Arms, you can dismiss them. Relay, attention. Turning right, dismissed.